Hey, hey, beautiful people. It is September the 25th, 2013 at 2.18 p.m. We got another wonderful rainy day in Florida, and this is my third rainy day in a row, and I am enjoying the break. Um, it's nice because the, the energy seemed to be on a, on a break, too, and got a little bit of a lull, although I feel incredibly empowered uh, the intensity that we've gone through over the several, past several months is, is chilled and it's allowing me to um, just level off a little bit, thank goodness. <laughs> but there seems to be a theme today as I'm going through my messages and uh, uh, this subject is something that I have been hesitant to talk of. Uh, for certain reasons that I have that are personal that uh, uh, that I've had about my own twin flame so this 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 video is going to be about twin flames and uh, today I had three messages in a row um, persons who were writing to me via email and um, other messages that were even on Facebook uh, this morning when I, I pulled it up and it's all about the twin flame issues. Um, I've avoided the subject because I know well who my twin flame is and um, I have done the best I can to make it go away and to say no this can't be and every time I say well, okay, who is it really? I get shown the same thing. And so, and mine and myself are not together, obviously. Uh, twin flames, uh, they can either be a perfect reflection of yourself, like a mirror copy, and you can have a wonderful lifetime of creating things and experiencing the magic, or they can actually be your polar opposite. A complete flip opposite polarity of yourself. And um, and they can be both. Um, when you understand how creation works and how duality works, we came here in wholeness and as we descended we had to split into opposite polarities. We're here to have the experiences that come from life, but because of our, the histories of the lifetimes of so many of our twin flames, when we have been on earth at the same time and we're here for the experience, um, many times we could have caused a lot of emotional trauma or received a lot of emotional trauma from our twin flames. They could have caused it to us or us to them. We're here for learning experiences and sometimes our learning experience is to be together, together in the same life and to, to grow through that life and have the experiences with that opposite other. And when those experiences aren't necessarily pleasant as well as when they are pleasant you can carry those energetics into other lifetimes and um, and there are many persons that know that their twin flame is not incarnate and that they feel them across the veil on the other side having a twin flame here on earth if it's not your reflection can really be an issue and it's an issue that um we have to identify with and sign sign um it's an issue that we have to identify with and learn to detach from if that other twin flame is a polar opposite and boy does that take some mastery if it was so simple um we'd be going through our lives together here and now um we're not all supposed to have the same experiences and 
sometimes our twin flame can be, I mean, paralleling us in this life experience, doing similar things, but on a different dimensional frequency level. Um, not awakened to what's going on um, and how everything works. Um, when you understand how creation is manifested, first there's a point and that point has to replicate itself and create another point. And then as you encircle those two points, you create the Vesca Pisces, the all-seeing eye, the eye of Horus, um, that the experience, the vibration that comes between those two points can come together for the experience. And many times our twin flames are exactly that. They're not here to be our lover, although they can be. And when we're as reflections, the love that comes from a twin flame relationship, the experience, and the, 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 the magic that comes from the twin flame relationship can be quite phenomenal and, um, and almost scary because it can be too much for some people. They cannot believe that that can continue. But some twin flames who are in 3D and in their head and their ego um, they cannot believe that that magic can continue and they get scared and they run away from that magic because it's so different from the 3D world where everything is generated by our intellect, by our hands-on doing, by, <laughs> by seeing things created in the material world that we actually create ourselves, and is not done spiritually. Twin flame relationships are highly spiritual, highly magical, highly energetic. And when they are in reflection, the magic is almost beyond belief. And um, a lot of persons just are not ready to have relationships like that. Some of us as a uh, we find that significant other and we're going through our ascension process and that other is not awakened or ready to go through they can be awakened to the ascension process and know about ascension and enlightenment but not be ready to go through their process at the same time and when one individual is and that person's twin flame is not ready uh, a lot of times they're splits and that seems to be the reoccurring theme with so many people messaging me today is how do we now that we've split and some of us could be for several years three four five years and um, how do we rid ourselves of the energetics of that significant other well first of all you got to identify it <laughs> <laughs> and then so many of us, uh, we used to cord each other um, from heart to heart. And we would have that heart cording bond, which was like an umbilical cord that was between the two, where we sent our love and our telepathy and our thoughts and our visions and um, uh, our energies between each other. And... Uh, Courting is not a very uh, good position to be in at this point in time of ascension on the planet because a lot of times we cord to others and uh, as we're expanding our light and our frequency and growing much more empathic and higher in our spiritual powers and abilities, our toolbox is getting more filled up. Um, we start feeling and seeing and knowing and dreaming and, 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 and just knowing exactly what's going on in that other's experience, although we don't want to. It's many times that is because the courting that we have done from our heart to their heart. 
And it's not that we don't need to be heart to heart connected, but we need to learn to love in a different way. We need to learn to love rather than heart chakra and here's me and that would be my twin flame and here's you and that's yours rather than being heart chakra connected between the two twin flames like that. Um, we need to cut those cords and learn to love from above from that higher soul and higher being that we truly are and then le learn to love down that way rather than loving from person to person straight through on a linear basis learn to love from above and cut that cord cut that cord that cord will always try to reattach kind of like a, the memory in a spring steel and uh, it will try to come back into that reposition um, and it will continue doing this over and over and can for years <laughs> Believe me, I uh, I have done everything that I could to deny that my twin flame was my twin flame, and I've done everything that I could to cut cords. And what I ended up having to do, and this was through my work with Daniela Breen, is to look into the past lives and other timelines and other dimensions and look at the soul contracts look at what we have done at other times to put a fractal of ourselves an energetic point of ourselves with that other individual usually behind that other individual um so that the energies could flow through us see those two points to have the experience when they encircle themselves and create that vesica pisces energy is flowing between the two which is that experience and that is what we're doing with our twin flames is we are anchoring the reality of the experience whether it is a a perfect reflection of each other or a complete polar opposite of each other Either way, that twin flame is that opposite polarity. And um, and it's just creating the experience in various ways. What we have to look at when we're not with our twin flame and when we can't seem to get that heart-to-heart -heart courting cut and it's constantly coming back even though we're wanting to love from above and down to them rather than a linear way because on that linear way think of it like an eggshell if you pierce if you have that other twin flames eggshell and your eggshell and you have courted each other think of it as your eggshell as your auric field um and you court each other and that cord is leaking what's happening to your energy your energy is leaking out um you're not able to it's just like blowing up two balloons and trying to pop a straw between those two balloons those balloons are more likely gonna pop or they're gonna leak all over the place uh if there's any changes in the relationship between the two persons they would have to stay very still for them not to leak <laughs> and if one person's increasing the light increasing their field and their um their vibration they're going through their ascension process then what's going to happen is that field that that straw is going through is going to shift and your light is going to go leaking out just like popping a hole in an egg or uh, a balloon that's been filled up with air or water and um so anyway what we have to do is to recognize our fractals of self that we've had with our twin flames and to remove those soul contracts and many times if you're have been here as long as I have it goes back over hundreds and thousands of lifetimes hundreds and thousands of lifetimes and you have to look at what has been the repetitive contract where you needed to keep a fractal of yourself with the other individual for me since 
Middle Atlantis, or yeah, at least since Middle Atlantis, I would say getting closer to the beginning of Atlantis. In Lemuria, I experienced more female incarnations. Since Atlantis, I've been experiencing more, um, over 90% of male incarnations. And, um, and that does not mean that a twin flame always comes in as your opposite. Um, they're just holding the opposite end of the space. It could be two males or two females. It doesn't have to be a male or female if they're here in incarnation. And if you're like me, my, my life experiences here on Earth have been all about the duality experiment in Ascension. That does not mean that my twin flame has been on that particular path and going through her processes. In fact, the one thing that we could never speak about was Ascension. That was an off topic subject that was just, that was a no-no. It was a taboo. And, um, and for her in what she, the spiritual path that she was on, that just always really surprised me that that subject was taboo. And so anyway, that was the one thing we could not talk about. So her not being on the ascension path, and for me, knowing I was here to be a part of the duality experiment, to be a part of the collective's duality experiment, to be a part of what's going on with the planet on a global scale, on um, working with the ascended masters who work with both sides of the duality experiment so that we can have the polarities and experience what we have since the fall of Atlantis. Um, my other half was uh, never really interested in all that. And over many, many lifetimes, all she ever wanted was the little house and the typical white picket fence type lifestyle with family and just, just have the whole family unit there and contained. And I was always going off to fight wars or to, to work for the empire, to, to, to keep out the, the Catholics as they were doing the inquisition or it just goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on. Um, um, and always I would end up leaving the relationship to go do my mission and leaving her and the family behind. And many times I would not come back. I'd be killed or jailed or tortured or uh, cut and quartered. And uh, I'd never make it back. And I would leave her all by herself in the home with the family many times with no means of support and I had screwed everything up because I was here for a duality. But then on the other hand, she didn't want to know about that part. And so you have to understand how the energetics of twin flames work. And to be a perfect reflection is so very wonderful. And to have your twin flame not on planet, but being a guide for you here is also very wonderful. But to have your twin flame here on planet and for the longest time you are that reflection and you see the magic and then all of a sudden you split and they become a polar opposite. <laughs> that is not so very wonderful. Uh, but it seems to be the theme of the day with so many persons writing in to me. And um, I have to say that right now, um, even if you were with your twin flame and you were that reflection uh we're all ascending at such vastly different rates each and every person on this planet is unique right now and if you're not going through the process as a perfect reflection then to have your twin flame in your life would be could be a detriment to your own ascension process or theirs. 
if that individual is advancing faster than you, blowing up that balloon and then getting a new balloon and expanding that light and blowing it up with more light and going through that ascension process, if they or you are expanding at various levels, then having the relationship with the twin flame right now could be a very, very difficult thing to uh, be experiencing. They could be holding you back or you could be holding them back. We've got another three years of this seven years of tribulation or the transition between the Piscean or the um, Aquarian age or, you know, we've got another three years of really intense uh, drama that's coming up as frequencies expand. And for those of us who are gatekeepers and way showers, um, do I know any of them with a significant other? I don't. I don't know any gatekeepers that are with their twin flames at this time. It's a very personal thing that we're doing, holding these energies and expanding our consciousness and um, creating the the portals and the gateways into the higher dimensions while we we are channeling these energies into Mother Earth. I don't know any gatekeepers right now. That are in a relationship with their twin flame. None. And that's probably understandable. Uh, how do we deal with the situation? Well, Daniela Breen, among many other persons, um, she's one of the best I know of um, for being able to read the two different souls and their contracts and um, their past history and uh, their Akash to go in and to identify uh, those soul contracts and to break those soul contracts to find the fractals of self and to help you pull them back in to your being to become whole again Daniela is one of the top persons on this planet that I know of that does work like that. There's a lot of persons out there that do work like that, but um, she's exceptional. And um, in any way, the identification of all the various fractals of self in all the various timelines and dimensions throughout history and into the now and everything that's going on in parallel universes in the now, um, being able to remove those fractals, to break the contracts, to cut the cords, and to clean up the energies, that's what I would recommend to be done. Um, that's what I had to do. And it it literally, it's taken me years to, to you know, come to grips with the the twin flame scenario. I was shown very clearly in vision December 31st, 2009 after I activated my heart chakra and I was really, really wanting to understand about this. I was shown exactly who mine was and how we got here and the split and the pain of that split and many of the lifetimes and um, and it was a very dramatic thing. And then I, because of our split and what happened later, went, this can't be my twin flame. And I was shown, yes, it is. And I would deny it and say, no, okay, really, who is it? And then I'd be shown the same thing again and again after several dozen times of being shown the same thing, even up until the recent weeks and months. I finally have to surrender and go, okay, I get it. I hear the message clearly. It's like all my other messages. And then you have to look at why the situation is the way that it is and, um, and respect and honor it for that. My twin flame is sovereign. Um, she's a very strong willed, wonderful, beautiful, um, fantastic person. Uh, very much. Um, like me in female form. 
And then some things are just the polar opposite of me. You know, she's got a lot of fear and got a lot of stuff to work out where I was that adventurer and always the one climbing the face of the cliff, no ropes, carrying the ropes up to blay everybody else. That was me. You know, I'd jump in the middle of hurricanes and she would run from them. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of things about twin flames that uh, might be that perfect reflection and a whole lot that is that true polar opposite. The adventure that I live in my life, my ability to be unhinged, my ability to be um, in 5D and going where spirit tells me to go without having the security, the money, the, 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 all the stuff that's needed. Um, that's totally opposite from what my twin flame is. She can't comprehend living the life although she fantasizes about it she can't comprehend living the life that i live a lot of persons out there who are seeking their twin flame have got situations like this and they're not surrendering to the fact that that other individual is here to anchor an opposite polarity from you so that we can have the energy flow and the experience so we can experience all that is. That's what we come to duality for, is to experience all that is. And if we have been in relationships time and time again, and sometimes they worked out to be good relationships, and we had a long life together, sometimes they were not. Um, sometimes that twin flame just has to be that opposite polarity for the experience, for all the energies to flow between and that Vesca Pisces in the center, which is the experience to, um, to be. Uh, we don't necessarily when you really, really understand what's going on and I can't say that I really, really understand what's going on, but I understand a good part of it then you want your twin flame to be that opposite experience. That's what's feeding the soul and the kosh and the mind of God is all these various experiences. Of course we want that, that love like what we've experienced before. And we will have it eventually, but we've got to get through our ascension process, our expansion and enlightenment process. We've got to push ourselves through it and out to the other side and they will also be pushing themselves through it. They just might be at a, a much different level of light and frequency than we hold ourselves at this time. But for to ascend Mother Earth and the collective of humanity, the greatest thing that we can do is to ascend ourselves, which means holding the greatest amount of light, like quotient and frequency within our field. And our significant other might not be at a level where they can do that like we are, like we have done. Just because we have had experiences to develop who we are as beings, our skills and our abilities for this ascension process in this now moment, just because we've done these things does not mean our significant other being that other edge of that polarity, the other edge of the energy, has kept and maintained their focus. Just like me, I've been a Ballard several different lifetimes so that I can, for a thousand years at least, so that I can build the DNA within this body that I'm in right now. That does not mean that that twin flame of mine has done the same. I am here to ascend Mother Earth. That does not mean that she is. Um, so with that, I have had to build my body and my skills, even though she's that significant other that, that is that marker for the energies to flow through and the experience or the vibration to unfold with in duality. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's pretty complicated, but it's also very easy when you just understand that we're only two points and either we're reflections or polar opposites. Now, cleaning it up, um, the easiest way to clean up 
is to release attachments and learn to love from above. Just because you're cutting the cords with them, you're not putting hate in its place. You're not putting anger or frustration or desire. Desire just makes that cord go back and just puts that cord right back into position. Um, learn to respect your other half. Learn to respect that twin flame. When we get through this process, um, we're going to be sovereign beings. We're not going to be controlling each other. My twin flame is very controlling and manipulative and does some things that I couldn't imagine doing in this life as Bill Ballard to hold the level of light and frequency that I hold. I couldn't imagine doing some of the things that, that mine's done. Sign, sign. <laughs> There's been many of those signs since I've been speaking on this subject in this video. Um, but that does not mean she's not a good person. She is an absolutely wonderful person. Beautiful, too. But um, does that mean we'll be together? Well, four years ago, I saw that we would be together. And it would have been now or in the past year. But now, my frequency and my light quotient is so far ahead of hers that that would be an impossibility. Well, I mean, it's not an impossibility, but it would be lowering my frequency and light quotient. It would be hard for me to hold the levels that I hold right now and be in that kind of relationship. And, um, and I'm not here for her. And I am not here for the relationship. It's just as that whole soul comes down to Mother Earth for the duality experiment, it's got to shift into the two polarities to have the experiment. That's all this is about. So many p persons try to grab a hold of that significant other and say, we can have this most wonderful and amazing time together. And yeah, you can when both are awake and on the same level and holding similar frequencies and level of light and consciousness levels because that's what light and frequency is consciousness levels consciousness levels of our various levels of higher self and if you're there and um your twin flame is not that twin flame can very easily pull you back into a lower level and you lose your status that which you've gained and worked so hard to accomplish by by playing in the barnyard. If you're going to play in the barnyard, walk through it, you're going to get dookie on your boots. <laughs> and even though it's our twin flames dookie, it's, uh, it's still dookie. <laughs> and it's better not to walk through that barnyard until we've really cleaned up all this mess of the ascension process. We've got several more years. Three years um, the halfway point from my messages was February 22nd of, uh, of 2013, and we'll have another three and a half years from that point, another 42 months after that, and um, that all began in September of 2009. The halfway point is uh, February of 2013, and many of the Mayan elders and the Hopi elders say it's similar it'd be 2014 to the end of 2016 first 2017 right now i i feel that we were right on target it's going to be the end of 2016 first 2017 that the halfway point was really february 22nd in 2013 that's really looking like that's a reality and so um so anyway, the best thing that we can do right now is to work on ourselves. Forget your twin flame. Cut the cords. Clean up that act. If you're with your twin flame, hallelujah. <laughs> Great. Have a wonderful experience and start creating now. But if you're not with them, go through your process. Let your other go through their process. Cut those cords and don't try to dominate or steer or guide your other, but let them go through their process. Um, that's the only way that they're going to get up to the levels of light that you're holding. And there is no limitation for what levels of light and frequency that we're going to hold. So 
we'll spend our time focusing on that rather than um, how to get our twin flame back or how to uh, how to do anything with them other than cutting the cord and cleaning up our history with them. So anyway, is there anything else about twin flames? Man, this is a subject that I, I know I've needed to speak about for some time and because of mine and her not wanting me to even discuss this subject I haven't spoken about it but uh, these past several days and weeks I've had the feeling that there was going to need to be something said about it and um, and with all the messages that are incoming today about the subject um, all on the same subject uh, and I felt I had to do something. And so, uh, is there anything else? Just hold the vision of your dream, you know? Right now, we're all going through our process. And if you know who your twin flame is, if you intend on getting back with them, some of them, their twin flame, some persons are so extreme light their twin flame is extreme dark. Um, my situation's not that. My situation's that we're doing the same thing in two different dimensions. Mine's not necessarily dark at all, although she's got some issues herself from, learned from the 3D world. But um, learn to resolve the issues. Learn to allow your twin flame to be who he or she is. Learn to love from above. Learn to realize that the other person is sovereign and when you get together, they will not control you and you do not control them. That's what the ascension process is all about is to get through the old 3D ways of having relationships so that we can have better relationships in, in higher dimensional uh, levels of frequency and yeah. the future, our future, the Aquarian age where we're going, new earth. Um, because the magic that comes from a twin flame relationship is much needed for the creation of new earth and where we wish to go. And it's much needed for our exploration of this universe. We're getting ready to leave planet here very soon and we're going to be helping other worlds ascend just like we're ascending here. And those twin flame relationships, when they're finally resolved, will be the ultimate in creation in new earth and in helping other planets and collectives to get through their ascension process. Um, learn to respect your twin flame and learn to be sovereign from your twin flame and allow your twin flame to be sovereign from you. Learn to love from above instead of be courted on a linear level. And, um, and send them love. Uh, use the new moons and the full moons to set your pace on cutting those cords. I mean, and it can take a long time. It's been thousands of years that we've been developing these cords. And so it doesn't, that memory does not change as you cut that cord and it tries to go back. As you clip that cord and it tries to go back, that memory, just like the memory steel, it will take you a long time to retrain um, the memory in that and to change it and just give it time um what else if i'm gonna do twin flame stuff let's get it all out on the table now no i will not say the name of my twin flame that is that is something that um it does not need to go public um Persons who were with us then, they saw the magic in the relationship. They they knew. Uh, what else? That's it. Anyway, love y'all. Bye for now.